hello everyone welcome to collective guidance tarot i hope that you guys are doing well and that you are safe wherever you are so in today's reading we are going to look at um whether the public will ever meet Lilibet and archie so i don't know why i was thinking about that so i just thought that um i should do a reading and see because um the whole situation with the kids as you all know has been yeah has sparked a lot of conversations because we are all wondering like do the kids even exist so i just wanted to ask if um we'll ever get to a point where we see the kids so thank you all for tuning in so for today's reading i'm going to use the tarot deck as well as the, uh, the archetypes so yeah thank you all for your continued support for liking for subscribing and always uh engaging with me so yeah let us begin so yeah, lately I just want to use um the tarot deck. I don't know why. Um, I haven't been using um the the animal spirit deck. Maybe at some point I will use it. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Let us begin. Um. Okay. So the four of swords in reverse. Okay, I'm sitting in a very awkward position. Let me just adjust my seat as well as the camera. I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, so that you guys can see the cards. So, yeah, I hope that uh, you guys are doing well. So, yeah, I think I am comfortable now. So, yeah, the Four of Swords in reverse. And the queen of cups in reverse yeah so okay so initially when i pulled out uh this four of swords energy the first thing that came to my mind was <sighs> these kids are going to need a lot of counseling why because of the queen of cups because megan is not really uh a, an emotionally attached she's not really going to be um involved in their mental health so when the four of cups um when the four of swords comes out in reverse this is um lack of self uh, protection lack of self care someone that does not want to accept counseling and we this is the type of behavior that we've seen also with you know the infamous couple in in as much as they are always claiming that they are going for counseling whatever their outward um behavior and the behavior that they project to the world does not scream that oh we are going to counseling it actually screams the opposite they are always preaching um counseling awakening you know healing or whatever but their behavior is actually toxic so spirit is saying that these kids are going to need you know a lot of um counseling because of uh, this queen of cups energy the queen of cups is is not a, a good energy especially when it comes out in reverse someone that uh, is emotionally codependent and we all know that uh, codependent people don't always make the best mothers so yeah this is someone that uh, is codependent obsessive obsessive i'm getting the energy that she's obsessed with a specific narrative that she wants um for her kids so she wants her kids to be a specific way and if you are a parent you know that kids don't always turn out how you want them to be and because of that she's going to resent her kids for that and it's going to you know create this uh dysfunctional dynamic between you know her and the kids so she's obsessed with a, a specific narrative and we've seen with um you know her hiding the kids and previously with the readings that i've done it did come out that she has like fertility issues maybe she did use a surrogate or whatever that but what i'm seeing here is that she does have the potential to be a good mother but because she's someone that is very codependent and very obsessive it's going to create this um very weird dynamic between her kids where there's a disconnect and it's going to lead 
yeah, it's going to create problems for you know the kids. So basically, the same cycles that they're saying that they want to, they do not want to repeat. It's it's going to reemerge with uh, the relationship that they're going to have with their kids. Um, social media. This is communication and social media. So what I'm seeing here is that in the future, they are trying to paint a certain narrative with the kids by removing them from the public eye. But what they don't see is that in the future, they are, these kids' life are going to p play out publicly in the public eye. And, you know, all the dysfunction, you know, um, it, it's going to be played out in the public eye. So that's what's going to happen because this is, um, yeah, the moon in reverse. So when the moon comes out in the upright, it's secrets hiding something, but then it's coming out in reverse. So her, her ultimate plan, which is that she wants to, you know, create, you know, a mystery surrounding her kids, hoping that in the future it will bring in, you know, abundance. The abundance card is coming out. In reverse, in her mind, she is planting seeds of abundance for them in the future. This is the illusion. This is the the secret, the the moon energy that we are all not seeing. But spirit is saying that the moon is going to be, um, the secrets are going to be uncovered because what she's trying to do will be will play out in the public eye. It's not going to come out like it's not going. Things are not going to be how she thought they were going to be like she thinks that she's going to create these amazing kids that are going to you know build in this um financial abundance because the fact that they are hiding um their kids it, it brings in a lot of interest on them and sometimes the, the interest is not going to be positive why because what's going on in the home it's not good it's going to shape the personalities of these kids and you know i don't know if you guys remember yeah i'm sure you guys remember the whole situation with you know harry being in the public the drinking the drug addiction that whole thing in as much as the royal family tried to protect him and hide him from the public eye you know protect his behavior his drug use it did come out it just shows how you can only have control up to a certain extent so spirit is um saying that and their kids are going so the cycle is going to play out because their kids are going to play out the same cycles that they are playing out now social media seeking attention you know all that crap so yeah uh the three of ones let's see what's uh, the supporting card yeah <laughs> she thinks that um she because the three of of ones is expectations so her expectations is financial abundance you know the nine of um pentacles as you can see this woman is here she's she's planting the ideas the seeds you know the idea that she's creating um this this secretive energy hoping that it will bring in more money for the kids but this card, um, the Nine of Pentacles, which is close to a Ten of Pentacles, is coming out in reverse, which tells us that she's not really going to um, her expectations as money and abundance for her kids. But it it won't be pretty. It really won't be pretty. It's like with those um, um, child, those young stars, men, Hollywood act, uh, actors and actresses that start in Hollywood very young and then at a later stage they they become drug addicts. Their lives don't turn out well because if you really look at those uh, their lives, those lives were orchestrated by their parents. No five year old would want to, you know, be um a Hollywood actress. So you can sort of see that that direction was paved out by the parents. So I, I, I see the same thing here and it's not going to be pretty. Because um, in her mind, she's thinking that, yeah, she's going to bring in this abundance by creating this suspense where, yeah, finally when we meet the kids, it's going to be this amazing big reveal that is going to, you know, bring in a lot of media coverage. It is going to, but it won't be the positive coverage that she's looking for. So Spirit is also saying, this card is also warning her. And also she has a maintain she has to maintain a specific lifestyle because by 
you know, by creating this um, suspense, this secrecy surrounding her kids, she wants to maintain this life that she has built for herself, which is a life of luxury. So, yeah, but what she doesn't know, so spirit is, caution yeah, the judgment in reverse. So spirit is cautioning her and saying that we don't know the future and you can't predict the future. You can't plan and say that, yeah, this is what I want for my kids and this is how things are going to turn out because what you want might not be um what happens in the future so yeah i that's the energy that i'm getting that i see a lot of distraction why because of issues within the home that is going to play out in the public so basically what they are doing with their families is what their kids are going to do to them so the judgment in reverse so she she's she is going to um ignore this and also the judgment in reverse is a loss of opportunity and this is also an outcome that um, is out of one's control. Like I've already said that you, one cannot predict the future. You cannot plan ahead and say, this is what I want for the future. This is what I want my kids to be. You can't. Because I'm even sure even like when her dad was working in Hollywood, she had a, he had a specific um, goal that he wanted to achieve for, for his child. But at a later stage, Megan struggled a lot in Hollywood. She didn't really make it like most um, actresses. We didn't really know who she was until she married in 12. So in this instance, it's it's something that is not meant to be. These kids are not meant to be what she wants them to be. Yeah, the strength in reverse. She does not have control over this. And also the Queen of Swords, she thinks that she's very strategic in her plan by... Yeah, Megan has a good understanding of um, social media and the digital space. And that's also another thing that um, the royal family overlooked. Is that um, right now we are living in an age of uh, social media where everything is public. You cannot keep secrecy. You can only keep um, pri privacy only up to a certain extent. And also, they overlooked the power of social media. Remember what happened with the Oprah interview? It went viral. People were, That was literally the only thing that people were talking about for months. That's the one thing that they overlooked about her, her understanding of social media. They think that um, they can keep certain things, you know, under control, but it's not going to work. They also need to take the same approach where they put something out first before the media outlets are put it out first because then it will save them the whole um do not respond policy it's not going to work especially in a in a digital space so that's something that they overlooked because if she's putting out her story first and they only communicating after people are more likely to take her version instead of theirs so yeah, um, she's very strategic, but what Spirit is saying is that she does not have control over, she's overlooking a few things, and she does not have an, uh, control over the outcome of, you know, their future. She might think that she's creating this uh, family legacy, like this generational wealth, but Spirit is saying no. What is going to play out here is a lot of dysfunction. So to answer the question, will the public meet them? Yeah, but it's not going to be pretty. It's it's going to play out uh, in the general in, in the public and it's not going to be nice. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Um yeah, thank you all for your continued support. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reading.